We've been tracking that winter storm from the ground as well. Team 12's Adriana Loya is up in Flagstaff following some of the power outages and other problems they've had. But she's also talking to people both enjoying the snow and some of them wishing that it would melt away. Adriana, what's it looking like this afternoon? Hey guys, well, we actually moved down 30 minutes south of Flagstaff to Mud Mutz Park, where there's actually some power outages, but I'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute. As you can see right now, snow still coming down at this hour. It has been on and off throughout all morning, and you know, it, it, about 30 minutes ago, it was a little bit um, sticky and, and, and wet, the snow, but right now I'm going to show you, it is it is a little bit of fluffiness. Um, some of the, the, the snow, it's a little bit, you know, accumulating here in this area. We've been parked around here for the last you know hour and as you can see everything is coated in white and snow and it is this snow that is actually impeding those efforts to restore power that was set to be done by four o'clock but now that has been pushed out to eight o'clock tonight the winter event bringing a beautiful sight to the high country we've had big snows like this in the past i've been here 33 years and um, this is a big one. The spectacle oh, forcing Andrei Potochnik and his dog Kylie to come out and do some shoveling bright and early. People get stuck and then we help each other out here. In the 27 years of living in Flagstaff, Paul Moore using a roof rake for the first time Tuesday. I was afraid it was going to all come at once and dump on somebody's head. While he avoided that, big snow dumps affecting residents in Mutz Park. We woke up around like 5.30 um, and... The power was out. Tate Tillis in Mara Vizcara, just two of the 1,500 people affected by power outages in the area. It flickered on and off a little bit earlier this morning, but, you know, both our phones are, <laughs> are dying, so we're just walking to the gas station to get some snacks for the day. APS says the snow has built up on the power lines to a point of breaking, with tree branches also playing a role. During a big snow event like this, it may take many hours to get the customers back on just because it's challenging for our our crews to get out there and work. APS crews, along with ADOT and Public Works Plows, working around the clock, keeping roads safe. While several cars spinning out on the freeways, Isaiah Barrera and friends making it up from Phoenix safely. We got excited, so I took the work off and headed up first thing in the morning. Excited to get out there. NAU extended its closure and canceled classes on Wednesday as some businesses cut their hours. We have closed a few or for a few of our hours just because of the snow and we want to to make sure our employees get home safe and everything. While the snow accumulates, those without power trying to make the best of it. We got plenty of books and activities and puzzles and stuff to do at home, so we're just taking it as a relaxing day. If you want to know the truth, we're day drinking and playing board games, yeah. so that's that's our snow day plan. <laughs> They are definitely making lemon out of lem, you know, or lemonade out of lemons. They actually have been now out of uh, without power for almost 15 hours, guys. So definitely they're they're bracing this temperature very well. Now the as the roads are getting very icy and slick, so the um, the recommendation is always to stay off the highways if people don't have to travel. So that is the recommendation we have going out for everyone out there as this snowstorm is going to continue out throughout the night. We're live in Mutz Park, Adriana Loya, 12 News.